Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I have um, a part of my bundle haul, actually half of the three bundles. So if you've been following the last two videos I put out on my brand new channel, I am trying to experiment. I'm using thread up and I'm going to see how many um, things I can sell and how fast it sells, what works, what doesn't work. Um, um, with using thread up as a sourcing site also it's fun for personal things you can see things I keep um, so today I thought I'd show you half of the three boxes because there's a lot of clothes as you can see here and there's it's a double rack so back there too and not everything has come yet so I have a total actually I ordered another bundle the other day so I have eight bu bundles in total. I have five more coming. So it's going to be a lot. So I thought I better get started. Um, I did list the purses. They're all listed so far. Nothing sold yet. I It's been a day since I've listed every all the purses. So it, um, and they're all on Poshmark. So we'll do a, a kind of uh, update as things sell throughout these videos. I want to give you a little information. So like I said, these are three bundles right now that I have. There was 35 pieces in each of the bundles, so that was a total of 105 pieces. I've had to throw one item out because it smelled like smoke. Um, I've donated three items. I've kept 16 of them for myself or my son, so that leaves a total of 85 items, and four of them have damage, which I'll be showing you in another video. Um, so, uh, give you a breakdown of the totals. So when everything comes on all the bundles come, I will total everything up, divide it by the number of items I have, and then it'll give me a piece per item. So for right now, the three bundles I have, I paid $144 and four cents for one of them. Um, $128 and 16 cents for another, and then $111 and 66 cents for a total of $383 and 96 cents was three free shipping on all of them because the orders were over $79 each order. So that comes out just on these three bundles, comes out to a total of $3.66 per item. So without further ado, let's get into, um, I broke everything down. Um, I'll let you kind of see here. I've broken everything down right now. Um, this is my two rack. So I put scarves or accessories that I've done um, shirts or tops and sweaters and then cardigans and then the back is skirts and dresses and then the damaged items and then I break it down further into color and that's how I hang things too so like when I pull things and find it I don't use the traditional you know a1 b2 you know it's in drawer whatever system I don't like prepackaging them because I feel like I want to make sure I see what's in there and I always do like another quick double check to make sure everything looks good before I send it out. So it saves me time yet I can still, I've, I've been able to find everything. So this system works the best for me right now. Ooh, I just, I just, <laughs> I'm learning here. Um, I found this Ella Moss top with the cold shoulder. Um, I found it brand new with tags and I was going to get rid of it. I didn't find it on thread up. I found this at a Goodwill. Um, but I was like, should I keep it? And I decided to try to use it on the video. And I kind of like it. I like the cold shoulder. I've never actually had a cold shoulder thing before. So, sorry. I digress. Okay. You're here to see what I got. So, I'll start with the scarves. Um, and I'm just going to do a few of the items at a time. Otherwise, this will be a really long haul. But, okay. So, I have three scarves. This one is fun it's like got a tan cream color and then a red so it's two-toned it's from ann taylor and it even has the new you know do not remove tag on it so i was super happy and i think it's got some cashmere in it uh yeah cashmere and cotton so i thought this would be really it's super soft i thought this would be fun it's going into spring and summer so um, but, you know, even when I worked and stuff, or even when I went out, sometimes it's nice, you know, late at night to have a nice little, um, and actually this is big enough that, you know, you can put it on in the summer and spring at night. 
So actually this might sell now, but I just thought that it was so soft and I think it was like $2.39 um, when I found it. So super happy with that. Okay. Then I'm really picky about scarves. I don't like selling scarves. I don't know why, but I just feel like they're, and you know, when you're going through thread up, they have like, I call it the scarf graveyard. Scarf, 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 scarf. Some of them are saved, just rows and rows of them. So I don't know. It tells me those don't sell very well. So I mean, if you have a Gucci scarf or a Tory Burch or, you know, oops, my bracelet is falling off. Sorry about that. Okay, I just gotta take a moment. I really like, I found this in um, some things my parents were getting rid of and I remember this growing up and I was actually able to wear it as a child. It's got a beautiful butterfly in it. And I thought, oh, I'll never be able to get, you know, that on. So everything's gotten bigger on me except for my wrists. I can get into a Pringles jar. Anyway, okay, sorry, I digress. I just had to show you my pretty butterfly um, bracelet that I just reconnected with. Okay, so this scarf gonna be a long time okay um this is isaac Mer Mer mazari from new york it was acrylic not my favorite fabric um i like the cashmere's and linens and cottons um wools you know so does everybody i think for the most part um so i usually shy away but i saw his name and things like that usually do good for me so i thought i'd give it a try and it's another one of those nice big ones and it's got like raw hems on it again in the summertime be nice in the spring when it gets cold at night so i don't know i kind of want to actually keep one of these you know what maybe i <laughs> hmm i might just have sold this to myself hmm like, which one do I want? You know, actually, you know what? I just sold this to myself. I'm going to keep it. Okay, well, All right, so I have two scarves. Um, anyway. Okay. This one, you know, I try to, to not buy anything that I wouldn't like myself, but I know my tastes are different than other people, so I try to look um, and watch YouTube and blogging and fashion trends to see what's going on because my tastes are very different from what's actually trending but I I'm I try to like at least find something that I could love about it um okay this is Catherine um and it's again acrylic and polyester made in China not my favorite thing but I liked how this had like sparkly I don't even see it's like metallic stuff woven into it and I thought this would be really fun. I was thinking about think, getting some things in my closet for like New Year's coming up. Well, and it's, it, well, I'm ready for the New Year if you can't tell yet. Um, but I just thought this would be really fun. Um, and it's one of those infinity scarves. You can see it. So I was a sucker for looking towards the New Year, I guess, when I got that. Oh, whoop, there it goes. Okay. I have TV. You know, I was going to do some edits and I might still, but for the most part, I'm going to try and not edit it just so people see like this stuff happens. <laughs> okay. Um, this is Lace. I can't say this name, but it's actually a really good brand. It's actually made in Italy. I think you can see the tag Lace something. And this is made of silk. 100% silk and not everything made of 100% of silk does well and I was actually kind of nervous to get this because it was like a creamy white color um is this size um size is this it is size 44 so I'm guessing this is probably like when you convert it like a small and it's got ruffles you can't really see it it's got ruffles and it's buttoned down and then I just thought it's got little buttons and this is a pretty expensive brand. I think new this was a couple hundred dollars. So for $2.39, I thought I'd give this a brand a go. Um, I know it is expensive and it's really well made. It's quality, but I don't know if there is a market. So we'll see. Um, okay. Well, see how that goes. Okay. 
This is Cabby, and I know Cabby used to do well a long time ago, and then people say that it stopped doing well, like the new Cabby tag does well, but it always does, at least it always sells for me quickly. So I think it's part of that logarithm on eBay. Like if you sell something and like, um, it kind of just keeps going. Like if you decide to sell Cabby and it, you don't, you know, get any hits, but if you like sell one, I think it kind of pushes you up. I don't know. I could be wrong, but, um, it always goes for me. So I don't know. I think this is one of the newer tags. So this is extra large and, um, do I know the fabric? I don't, but it was cabby and for like, it was like probably $2.99. Um, it's a long button up sleeve. I thought, okay, I'm gonna grab it. Sometimes I shop brand, sometimes I shop for the fashion and I try to do both, but anyway, this was new with Tag Club Monaco and extra small, 100% silk. This has the, I don't know, I've never, this has the thread up tag. I've never seen that before. It says, fashion is what you buy, style is what you do with it. That was on my Club Monaco. It's really cute too. It's got these uh, little fabric strip um, slits on both sides. Really soft, peachy color. Great for summer. I tried to, trying to get a lot of summer pieces in right now. And this could actually go. This is a bigger size, but it actually would kind of work with it. Set underneath it. This is Gap, um, size large button down. And I got it because it's 100% linen. And I love and people love the 100% linens. Uh, again, I think this is like $2.99, so I couldn't say no to that. Okay, Bebe, made in the U.S. Now, I know not everything made in the U.S. is going to be a hit, but in my experience so far... Um, it's a higher quality, it seems to be a higher quality and it sells better. So I saw this is hundred percent silk and it was Bebe it made in the U S medium. And it's like a sheer with a, uh, like embroidered, um, feature. So, okay. You can tell I'm tired. <laughs> what? See, now you don't wait. No, you see me. No, you don't. <laughs> okay. I should probably edit this, but like I said, this is real life. So. Um, anyway, I really liked this. I wish I could get into this. Wishful thinking. Okay, this is Piazza Roma. And this is size small. And it is um, got some silk in it and cotton. It's got sheer sleeves, semi-sheer sleeves. So I thought this was just really fun size small yeah size small a lot of things I got I found um that are in the outlet are size small and extra small um so anyway just something I noticed I try to get a combination of things so it's not just you know one thing in my closet for Poshmark um doesn't matter so much on eBay but when you're trying to encourage bundling um on uh, Poshmark that becomes important so I try to have a variety of things in my closet and I don't have a separate men's versus women's or kids I just have it all together it's hard enough to manage one closet let alone three I don't want to have to sign in and out you know a million times so anyway uh, this is J Crew. I don't this is not the newest J Crew. I don't think it's size small it's 100% um, silk it's uh, sheer I think thought it'd be another fun summer piece you can layer it with a fun bra or you know some fun little shirt inside there it's got a tie and you can see the tag so I thought that was fun you can tell these are a lot of summery and springy pieces banana republic extra small it's like a wrap shirt and um it's got a tie and it's like a you got you can put like a tank top and then put this over it and then it's got a wrap you can tie in the front super cute super flowy 100 percent silk i actually searched so one of my boxes i got like yeah i'll get it in a minute i got um a lot of purses and then the other one i found a lot of silk so i searched 
my second box I got smart like I'm learning every time like the first box was bad it was I bought that carbon 33 stuff which is quality if you haven't seen the first video it's quality items but I spent a lot on it and I decided I'd rather spend that and get more items to to sell so then the second box I found purses which is great and then I learned I can search and filter <laughs> by price and um fabric material so that's what I did um, so I found a lot of silk and linen pieces, which made me really happy. And again, just because it's that fabric doesn't mean it's going to sell quickly, but it is higher quality. And I do like having quality, um, in my closet. I think it's important. Okay. This is raw Mona La Rue. And I've never, and it's so small. I've never heard of this before, but you know what? I decided I'm going to take chances on things and learn new brands and branch out if I liked it or I thought someone else would. I like that it was like a bunch of three colors. Um, so small, drapey, perfect for summer coming up. So I liked it. And I don't know if I showed you the tag or not, but I will find it again. It's like, ugh, for it's like an oversized small, I think. There's the tag. Anyway, I really like this. We're almost halfway done. Okay. Um, this is size small. What is it? Oh, Lauren by Ralph Lauren. Lauren. It's this like, pretty like tealish blue color with pockets. It's 100% silk. So, um, yes. Uh, there's nothing about that. Any of those words that I said that I didn't like. So. This does really go, does really well for me and sells fast. So, I'm excited to list again. It's kind of nice. Like I, um, I've had some uh, personal things come up with my family, and um, I kind of for a while lost my will to list. I mean. Um, at least, or not my will, but my excitement to list. So this is kind of rejuvenating me, and I'm actually really excited to see how these things do. So, okay, this is Amanda Uprich, New York, size small. It's like an oversized small again. It's beautiful blue, um, puffy sleeve, button puffy sleeves. I like this a lot, and I don't remember what the fabric is. I don't think that it's just silk. If it is, it might have some silk in it, but anyway, just really pretty. I like the color. Um, one thing I did too, after a while, you're scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling on ThreadUp, you start going blind. I don't know, especially if you're on your little phone, or maybe this is just me. I don't know, but I decided to <laughs> play wheel of clothing and I took my finger, spun the wheel, and I, as things were going by, I tried to see the blurs and see, like, what caught my eye. Like, is there a color or something that stood out that made me stop the wheel that I actually, so I started playing with it. And, you know, when it's, it was, like, maybe 1 o'clock in the morning at one point, and I just couldn't sleep. So I was playing this wheel of clothing, and, you know, it, it um, helped me home kind of, like, well, what is really interesting? Like, what jumps out? So... Anyway, probably TMI. Okay, next. Treasure and Bonds, large. I actually got this because I thought, I just hit myself in the face. Live TV, people. Okay, I actually thought I was gonna keep this and then I tried it on and I can, I'm a large, well, it depends on the maker. Um, I'm a large, usually extra large, depending on like the maker. And it fit me, it had plenty of room, but I didn't like the cut, like something like about the shoulders on me. I didn't, I don't know. Um, I liked the V kind of, but it just, it didn't feel like I thought it would feel. And it was a little heavier than I thought it would be. It's still a very nice shirt. Top, so, ah, okay. Try not to hit myself in the face. Okay, this was a hot mug. There's two of them now. Okay, this was 100% silk again. Coldwater Creek. Now, Coldwater Creek does better on eBay. It does not do well for me on Poshmark. 
But I decided I'm going to try it on, on Poshmark. If it doesn't sell, I'll move it over to eBay. Um, but it was 100% um, silk and it was large. It was this really neat red, black, silver plaid color. Um, looks like it hasn't even been worn. Like all these things that I have, for the most part, they look amazing. There's no stains or rips or buttons missing except for those four pieces. So, so far, you know, when you get it under the light to photograph it and when you start handling it more to um, sell it through the process, you start seeing more flaws. But so far, so good. I've only found four. So I'm excited to try that. Ah. Okay. And we have three down now. Three, three. Oh, nope. I got it. I got it. Okay. This is, oh, uh, Tahari. And it's 100% silk, really pretty. It's got like a little ruffle, the sleeveless tank. And let's see if you can, there's the boop, tarry. So I, so I, oh, I guess I should do the size. I think it's small. So I couldn't pass up to Hari. Um, it does really well for me on eBay. I haven't tried it on Poshmark yet, but like I said, all these things I'm going to, for the most part, start on Poshmark and see how they do. And then I know some things will sell maybe better or will sell if I can't sell it on Poshmark. Like Cove Water Creek, uh, Chico's. Chico's doesn't do so well on Poshmark. It might if it's silk or cashmere. Not sure. But I know it'll sell on eBay eventually. For me anyway. Um, so we'll just, I'm going to play with it. Banana Republic does better on eBay than Poshmark. So... Everlane, just a um, black and white simple top. Show you the tag. This is size large. Okay, I'm just gonna throw them on the floor. <laughs> Get them later. We're gonna be here all night. I tried to keep these under half an hour and I'm at 22 mark right now. So, okay, this is Yasp, Yasp, Y-A-S-B. This is a medium. It is 100% silk and it's got like a ch like cheetah print kind of. And that, you know, at least last year it was hot. I think it's still, it sells for me cheetah print stuff. I don't know if it's still trending like it was, but um, I can still move it. And being silk, that had two good things going for it. Never heard of the brand before, but again, I'm learning, so that doesn't say much. So, well, give it a try. This is new, N-E-U-W, size small, and it is silk, 100% silk. Here's the tag. Okay, there we go. So, I'm still learning a lot about YouTubing. You can tell I don't have the light kit yet, and the sound is still eh. Um, I'm trying to get work on the angles, and the first video I said, um, way too much. So I'm trying to learn and progress, but I do have showing the tags down. I know sometimes with all those bright lights, it's hard to see the tags when other people do it. So I will say I have the tag showing down. To my own horn. Okay. And it's gonna hit me in the face. Okay. This is 11 1 Thulu. Size small. Made in Vietnam. Vietnam. It's got just a fun um, button up. The zoom um, and ruffle. So I thought I would give this a try. I don't remember. I'll let you just open it. You'll want to see the tag. I just said I had the tags down and then I don't remember why I got this. I think I just like the name of the brand. I wanted to try the brand. Um, I was looking up some of these things on Poshmark and eBay before getting it. But then after a while, you just get tired and you just start putting things in your cart and you play games like Wheel of Clothes and, you know, it is what it is. Okay. Ecote. E-C-O-T-E. -E. I've heard of this brand. I've never found it before, so I... Okay, there we go. Um, this is just a medium size... Um, 
sweater and it's got uh, it's kind of oversized which i really like i like oversized things and i wish it was my size it's gorgeous i love the two like the white and black gray um long i really like this a lot i wish it was in my size or i would have kept it okay now th this actually came back to me so i bought this at the goodwill and i sent it to thread up um I tried to, I wanted to see what the process was, so I actually started, I sent a few things to thread up a few months, like, I say, like, in last December, I decided, it's like, okay, I'm going to, like, try and sell on it. Didn't go so, like, the selling for me didn't go so well. <laughs> so, this is one of the things that I, like, I, because it just finished, it took, gosh, it took a long time to get it processed. I didn't pay for the expedited processing, um, but it took a long time. And I just had my stuff finished selling and I got a couple things back. I think I made a hundred and some dollars. Um, I sent in like two, two bags or whatever. But this is one of the things that I had bought at the Google and I sent in and it didn't sell. But it priced like crate like it's like 50 something. So I just decided to get it back. I had, I, I had to, um, it's like, they wanted you to pay $5.99 for some of your items if you, I guess, if you put them past a certain point or something. Um, this one, I didn't do that, so I was able to get it back for free. And I just, um, you know, you have to pay the shipping, but then I was buying this bundle, so I was able to avoid shipping costs. So I got this back for free, which I'm happy. Um, it's Banana Republic. It is, it's a fun, it's got wool in it, and it's just a really fun sweater. It's not the season for that, so it's probably why it's that. Um, it was when I sent it in, in like la in December, um, but that ship has sailed, so I'll just hang on to it and put it for next season. Um, but anyway, that came in my, one of my 35 uh, items. Okay, this is closet space, small, and I just, I like the print on this. I just thought this was fun, and for the summer, it was like, I like pieces you can layer, so this is the tag size small and it's fun it has in the back this little um like cool little tie thing that holds it back and I just really like the print it's kind of fun so again I like layering pieces and I thought this would be a fun layering piece I love ponchos and I don't know if they're trending or not in my head they're trending I love ponchos and cardigans and asymmetrical pieces as you'll see in just a moment actually okay this one I decided I wanted to like get a bunch of cardigans and ponchos and like I don't know I was in that mood this is Lori B size small I've never heard of that um this is just a knit cardigan open front knit cardigan and I like the color I like the knit and nice springy piece so I'll put that away in a minute okay now this one also came back with like my banana republic thing this was I don't pick up Lulu okay so I used to pick up Lulu bro like a long time ago and now I don't it does not sell I even bundling it for me I could bundle till the cows come home and have 50 pieces of Lulu bro I don't think I could sell it. The logarithm from eBay, like Poshmark, don't even try. A logarithm on eBay is like, nope, next. <laughs> so, but I did, um, I, I don't know why, I don't know why I got this. I was at a Goodwill and I think I, I was after Cardigan, it was like a while ago, and I sent this to thread up and they took it. I was shocked. They actually, I, along with all like the scar scarf graveyard on thread up is also the Lulu row at the outlet graveyard too. It's like scarves and Lulu row a lot. You got to weed through the that stuff to get to the other things. But um, this I I got this like I did the Banana Republic. I I got it back. But in case you want to see, if you see this brightly rainbow color tag, now there are a couple pieces that sell. Like I think the cardigans do do better. The shirts and the leggings and the dresses. Dresses used to do okay, and now it's like, if you see this tag, run. Don't buy it. Put it back. 
You'll find something else better, I promise. Do not get this deck. I don't know why I got this back, actually. I should have just... I guess because it was free and I need more things in my house. I don't know. But it looks like bananas or feathers or... I don't know. I, I don't know. Yeah, here it is. So that will not be going on Poshmark. That, um... If it was, like, my size, I would just keep it and wear it, but it's not. It's small. And even, they're usually oversized, and even that, I see. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with that, so stay tuned. Okay, sorry about that. Gap. This is size small. It's got some wool, I think. Let's see. Why did I get a gap top? Da, da, da. Do, do, do. Cotton. It was 100% cotton, I guess. Size small. I don't know, maybe layered look again. I don't know why I got this, actually. The only thing is I can think of that it was late at night and I was tired and I think I played too much spin the wheel of clothing. Anyway. It's not bad. It'll move. And if nothing else, I know eBay. I can sell it on eBay real quick. Okay, there's only a few more things. Charter Club. Size large. Now, usually Charter Club, I don't pick up. Um, there are some pieces, like the cashmere pieces, do really well. But um, this, I just, I've got it for style. I really liked it. It had, it's a button down, and it was wool, too. Okay, I, wool. So, it had a couple things going for it. I love this, like, faux flower thing. And it just, you know layer with it nice business or you could wear it just going out quickly and just throw it over there i liked it so um anyway charter club i wouldn't normally though pick up charter club just fyi okay and bordeaux extra small slash medium And I think I recognize the name, but I'm not sure. I'll have to look it up if I rec remembered it right, if this was a good brand or not. I like, like, again, I like layering things and layered pieces. Um, it's not button. It's just open front. I do like, I think I like the back, the, the lines down it. I, again, I think, I don't know. I might have just been tired. Okay, moving on. This is so soft, and you couldn't like. I want to. I wish it was my size. It's Ambience Apparel Medium, 100% rayon, made in Cambodia. It's super, super soft. I don't know if this is a good buy or not. We'll find out. But it just looked. I liked like the light gray, so it just looked really comfortable. Again, it could have been one of those late night spin the wheel and thread up and you know, small, medium, so oversized. It looks so comfortable. Like if I skinny down a little bit and I still have this, I might sell it to myself. Okay, three more items. Okay. This is I Love H81. It's a uh, size large. It's got wool in it. Not for the summer or winter. Summer, no. Not for the summer, for the winter. It's got a hood too. I actually might keep this. I'm not a wool person. I have sensitive skin and wool just doesn't seem to make my skin happy. But I really want to want it. I like the hood. Oh, because you guys probably want to see the tag. It looks so comfortable. So give that a try in the winter time. Excuse me. Okay, this is Jillian and Nicole, size small. And it is cotton and modal. Modal. Oh, that's why I got it, the fabric. And it looks super comfortable. And it's gray. I have a thing for gray, like neutrals and loud print. Like, 
So I guess I go extreme. I either like the all neutral or it has to be a really fun print. So I, I like things to look comfortable, but yet like presentable. So my bag on the floor. Okay, last, 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 last. DKNY jeans. This is a size small. And was this? Does this have a rip in it? Okay, no, this isn't the one that was ripped. Sorry, they had two that look similar. Um, it has a hood on it. Great for the spring and summertime. It has like a knit. That it's not a rip. Those are like it's a knit, so it's kind of semi sheer. So anyway, that is my my first part of things. Second part will be the dresses and skirts, which is always my favorite part. I was tempted just to get all dresses and skirts and, um, you know, no, without the, the pandemic and everything, I feel like everyone's just ready to bust loose and get out their party clothes. So I'm trying to be ready. Um, and it's definitely my favorite to shop for, but I knew I should have some other basics in the closet too. So, um, that's all for now. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you have any tips for me, please leave them in the comments below. Again, I'm just kind of getting, I'm new at this, but I'm already realizing I said um too much in the first one. I know I've got to upgrade the lighting eventually and the sound and all that. But again, I'm just starting as a journey and I hope you um, will come on this journey and, and come with me. So where with that, if you're watching this in the morning, noon or night, wherever you are, I hope you're having a great day. And I'm gonna go put all this mess away. See the floor mess. Yep. Anyway, till next time, I'm going to be sharing another, uh, like I said, next episode. episode. I'm gonna go over the skirts and dresses and that's by far my favorite part. So hope to see you then. Bye.